I'm so honored to be given this award. It's great to share your graduation day with you. You're at the beginning of your career with the great grounding you've had at Marjum. To be truthful, I'm not the biggest fan of speaking in public or in large groups. I'm far more comfortable being in the background or working as a team. Graduation for me was a long time ago and I thought, what would I have told myself if I was speaking to myself back when I graduated? You may not be clear about what happens next. It's fine, some of you may know where you want to be in the next part of your journey, which is great. I was fortunate to know what I wanted to do when I finished university. However, it's two different things, knowing what you want to do and knowing how to go about getting there. The journey took time and at university, I must say I enjoyed the lifestyle a lot. Um, I was still trying to be a student when I graduated. I wasn't a student that put myself out, should I say, when I was at university. However, there's those little gems that drop in your, in your lectures that you've got and you kind of find something that you want to do. Um, I just got by in lectures at times and enjoyed the ride. However, the light bulb moment was when I got the opportunity to undertake some work experience with Reading Football Club, which I enjoyed. The penny dropped um, two weeks later because I thought as soon as I was graduated, I was going to go into that football, uh, football role. However, that wasn't the case. I was working as a labourer two weeks after I'd finished, okay? And it's about trying to find that opportunity of how I get into that role. Um, and what I did then is I thought I needed to get some experience. So experience is really, really key. So I went back to Reading Football Club Okay, I worked there um, as a community coach, alongside working in a bar, trying to build up my experience, trying to get the knowledge and understanding about the realm and what the understanding about what football could be done, okay, and where I could be in my life. Did mean some sacrifices, so others from my friendship group at university would go on. They'll gain jobs, they earn more money than me at that time, okay. They'll go into industries which they didn't want to go into, but they wanted, to, uh, they wanted to earn money, okay, regardless of what the industry was. So when the journey began after, after Reading Football Club, and I couldn't be that student anymore of working at a bar and also trying to pay the rent, I had to move home, which is back to Devon. Now, there's not many football clubs in Devon, okay. So I thought an, uh, an, uh, I needed to get some more experience. So I, I reached out to the Devon FA and... Um, asked to do some work experience there. And it gave me a real good ground in the Devon FA because it gave me a different understanding of the football landscape, not just about what happens on a Saturday, but also about the governance, the landscape, and applying some of those modules that I've done at the university um, to really get an understanding of, of where I wanted to be and what I could be doing. And it was two years after my degree that I took a voluntary role at Plymouth Argyle in the community department. I used to travel two hours a day and sometimes I think, why on earth am I doing this? Um, but I also thought, when will I get my break? And it's that persistence. And, and you know, credit to, to my parents. I was still living at home then, not paying rent. Um, but it was really important that they supported that journey because I wanted to wake up and make sure each day that I was enjoying something that I do. Um, and I'm really fortunate to be in this position. The break come when we delivered a rehabilitation employment program. So I was volunteering on this program. Um, this saw people that are furthest away from the employment sector achieve qualifications and gain employment through the programme. I felt like I'd been part of a journey with them and I could see really where I was going to go with, my, with where I wanted to be in my life. That's when I was really fortunate that I got offered a six month placement paid. I accepted and now my journey was reduced. I could afford a car. This was a time when I own, when I'm only going to do a job that regardless of money will be the one that I can wake up every day knowing that I'm doing something good but enjoying what I'm doing. And that was really important to me. I've been fortunate enough to have some great people to learn from, both in university and then through those, exp those work experience placements and also the people that I work with now and the partners. People are very generous with their support and advice. My advice is taking every opportunity to soak up people's advice, <laughs> knowledge and experiences. This will help shape yours. The journey continued where I delivered multiple projects and partners, and even during difficult times, 
I took on the role of head of community on the day that the club decided that they'll announce that they're going into administration. Some people thought I was mad. Some others thought it was a great opportunity because if we got it right and we could do, with, uh, we could do good with football, then there's the opportunity that when the club turns its fortunes that there's the opportunity that we can do even more. We made it a success. And I think that was one of our shining lights as working as a team, that we had the opportunity to, to show some of the successes that even in the darkest times of a football club, that we had the opportunity to show how powerful sports development and how football can be within its local community. It worked, being part of a team was the most important thing to me, understanding people's strengths and utilising them. Bouncing ideas off of colleagues, being brave in our approaches, and that's what made me thrive, and that's what makes me enjoy getting up every day coming to work. So, I used, to, I used to, and I still do set myself some stretch targets. The people closest to me raise an eyebrow with what some of those are. So just some examples of when I was coming into the role that, I, that I'm into now was, so I've, I've put these down. In five years, I wanted us to be a million pound charity. People used to think that was crazy. When I come in though, it was about a hundred thousand pounds. So uh, to people, people think, well, what's finances to a charity? It's about the more of the, if we've got money, that means that we're doing more in our community. That means we're delivering more. In seven years time, to build our facility. So we wanted to build a facility to do some of that community output. And then to become the biggest sporting charity within the Southwest. They were just some of the things that are intrinsic to me. That didn't mean they were, we were putting them on a strategic plan. They were just something to me that I felt that I could work towards. All of which I've been fortunate to achieve. So if I was given to give some words of wisdom, what would they be for you that are graduating today? First one for me would be persistent. There will be barriers, but be persistent. Don't give up, okay? There will be barriers to overcome, but make sure you're persistent in terms of trying to achieve your goals. Be fearless in your approach, okay? Okay, and when I mean by be fearless, ask questions. Don't ever be afraid to ask a question. There's never a wrong question. Always look to work, to research and identify and ask questions that may be difficult questions that people don't want to answer, but be fearless. You're young, okay, and you've got the opportunity to find out what the answers are. That goes on to it. I've just added that one in, ask questions. Have a can-do uh, can attitude, okay? So let's have a can-do attitude. Let's make sure that you've got something that you feel that there's, okay, there's a drive, there's an opportunity. We've got the approach right. Learn from others. Aim to enjoy what you do. I think it's the most important one for me. Don't buckle under pressure. Hold your nerve. Believe in yourself and hold your nerve. Whilst you think your learning has stopped, trust me, it's an ongoing process. However, make it fun. Life is to me enjoyed. And that includes work. Enjoy it. You've made a great start through Marjum. To make a difference, take time and achieve your goal. Enjoy the day. Some of you may enjoy the evening. And lastly, enjoy part of your journey. Next part of your journey. Thank you.